Let's dive into the ceramic crystal structures. Now, the simplest ones are in the AX structure type. AX means you have one cation and one anion, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio. They're in equal numbers. The first one we're going to cover is the rock salt crystal structure. Sometimes they call this the NaCl or the sodium chloride crystal structure, and this is the same stuff that's in the salt shaker on your table at home, rock salt, right? In this structure, if you were to take RC over RA, you would find that it is between 0.414 and 0.732. Therefore, the cation must have a coordination number of 6. And since there are equal numbers of cations and anions, the anion must also have a coordination number of 6. One way to think about this structure is as two interpenetrating FCC lattices. So here's what the structure looks like. Here they're showing you with black atoms and gray atoms the two different types of atoms that are present in this. The smaller one would of course be the sodium plus because it's the cation. The larger one's going to be the chlorine minus. That's going to be our anion, right? And if you look at this, the sodiums are located at the corners, right? They're located on the corners of the lattice. Here's our sodiums. But they're also located at the faces, right? Top, bottom, left, right, front, and back, right? So that right now just looks like an FCC lattice with sodium in the FCC positions. But they've filled the interstitials, right? In this structure, the interstitials are filled with chlorine, right? So the interstitial is in between these two. You've got chlorine on that edge center. All of these are located on these edge centers. You notice along all the centers of these lattice parameter edges have a chlorine, and then one in the exact center as well, right? So that is how you can think of this as two interpenetrating lattices. Why is it two interpenetrating lattices? Well, take a look at the structure here, right? Here we can see that one unit cell, right? You see this, this unit cell here. There's the atom on the face. You can see it right there. And so if you go to the next unit cell over, there's the second one. How do we think of this as two unit cells? Well, let's draw a lattice with the green atoms, right? So now this would be the unit cell, right? With that green atom along the face. And then we could keep on going over. There would be another unit cell that way. So these are two interpenetrating FCC lattices that have been shifted by half of the lattice parameter in any of the three directions. Sometimes they call these X, Y, and Z directions or along the a, B, and C directions. Doesn't matter what the nomenclature is. Okay? So that is the rock salt structure. We can see it here. Again, here's our structure for rock salt. You can see that the yellow atoms are on the one that re they represent one FCC lattice, and then the green are another. They'll oftentimes show these with bonds showing how these things are connected together. So it's not too big of a jump from the FCC lattice that we learned about in metals, um, but it accommodates two different types of atoms with two very different sizes. So how could we correlate the lattice parameter to the ionic radii? Well, if you look at it, looking right along any of these principal directions, you see that the lattice parameter is equal to one yellow radius, two green radiuses, and one yellow radiuses. Or in other words, the lattice parameter for this structure, A, is going to be equal to two times the radius of our cation plus two times the radius of our anion, right? Where that is our lattice parameter there. How many atoms are present per unit cell? How about this one, right? If you were to count these ones up, what would it be? Well, from before, when we did FCC, we knew that there were four atoms per lattice. So just the yellow ones, the yellow ones is our regular FCC lattice. We know that there are four yellow atoms per, per, per unit cell here. What about the green ones? We said that these green atoms sit right on the edge centers, right? That's located right on the edge center. Since it's centered on the edge, it's going to be shared with four other unit cells. Therefore, it's only one-fourth of the way inside. How many of them are there? There's 12, right? On this bottom layer, there's one, two, three, four. In this middle layer, there are one, two, three, four. Top layer, there are one, two, three, four. So there are 12 edge-centered atoms, each one-fourth the way in. That's three, plus one that's completely inside the center of this structure, so it's four. So there are four sodiums and there are four chlorines. Well, that better be the case because it's a one-to-one -one structure. Sodium chloride has just as many sodiums as chloride. So how many atoms are there? There are four sodium atoms and four chlorine atoms. 
per unit cell. So that is the rock salt crystal structure.